Okay, using only the calculator, we're going to try to figure out the laws of natural logs. So the ln of x times y, substituting numbers in the calculator, we will plug in the ln of 5 times 6. Press enter, we get 3.4. Now, let's see if that's the ln of 5 plus the ln of 6, because maybe that's your intuition. ln of 5, close parentheses, plus ln of 6. The second one, you do not have to close parentheses. So we do this, we get the same answer. So basically the ln of x times y can be rewritten as two natural logs as the ln of x plus the ln of y. Now, I do want to show you a mistake a lot of students are going to make. They're going to type ln of 5 and without closing parentheses they're going to say, oh, plus ln of 6. Wrong answer. They gnash their teeth, pull their hair, curse the calculator. Please do not do that. Just close the parentheses when you do the natural logs. Just a little hint. Okay, next law of natural logs. ln of x over y. For this we will enter ln of 5 divided by 6. And we get this number, negative 0.18. Now you have an intuition that might be the ln of 5 minus the ln of 6. So ln of 5, close parentheses minus ln of 6. Wow, same answer. So basically the ln of x over y can be rewritten as the ln of x minus the ln of y. Last law of natural logs, ln of x to the y, well we're going to plug in our calculator, ln of 5 raised to the 6th, and we get this number, 9.65. You have an intuition that might be 6 ln 5. So let's try that, 6 ln 5, making the exponent a coefficient. Oh, and it works out. So basically, the ln of x to the y can be rewritten as y ln x.